In this example, we will be demonstrating Ecana Spotlight's automated tracking technology and its use in the redaction process in Ecana Spotlight. In order to automatically track an object, we need to have a beginning point and an ending point uh, to process and track that object. Uh, we'll begin by uh, selecting a, a starting point uh, for the object that we're going to redact in this example, which will be this gentleman's face. So we'll select our ellipse tool, and we'll go ahead and we'll draw an ellipse around this gentleman's face. And when I let go, you'll see it'll automatically add our first point, our beginning point, uh, for the object that we want to track. Let's make this a little bit easier. I'll change this, this layer here. And we'll change this to a blur. And now the next thing that we need to do is to select an ending point for this video. Maybe right around here. We'll select the ending point. We'll expand now. You can see it automatically adds our second point. So this is going to be our ending point. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and process this tracking uh, between these two points that we've selected. So going to go ahead and process uh, this section. And now it should automatically track this gentleman's face from this point that we've selected at the beginning to this point at the end. So we'll go back to the beginning here. We'll play this forward. And it's as simple as that. That's how you uh, select your beginning and end points and automatically track an object in the can of spotlight. And we can repeat this process uh, for any number of objects that we want to uh, redact in a video uh, just by going up and selecting from our, either our ellipse or our rectangle tool and highlighting that object and setting a beginning and end point where we want to uh, automatically track and redact that object throughout the video.